Mario. A dirty golf ball, but I wouldn't say muddy. So I think contact here shouldn't be too difficult. But I think judging this for pace is going to be certainly the toughest part. It's going to work to her right at the end, much like we saw Olsen's second shot. Five straight pars to begin the round, trying to stay at one under. Today, missed the green on the first hole, just had a very similar pitch shot on the first, showing some nice touch. Yep, should be six bars in a row for Mario Jatanagarn again, one of the very few contenders to not make a bogey yet on this very difficult day. And this is about as much stress as we've seen. Uh, she, she has been in position throughout with those pars, has not been here in the last couple of years, or last year, I should say. Now this for birdie. Yeah, and Dan, we're seeing something here on this hole that I think is going to play in the rest of this championship round, and that is the difference in length between Shibuno and Olsen. Shibuno was basically forced to play very conservatively with her second here from the yardage she ultimately had, but with Olsen driving at some 20, 30 yards past Shibuno, she was able to be much more aggressive with her second, and as we saw, stiff to short iron. Wow, so it's that big of a difference between the two bones, huh? Wow. It yeah, it's, really it, yeah, it certainly is at times. I think, you know, yep. Amy's certainly got a little more pop. Yeah, maybe making even a bigger difference at times with this cold weather and damp, soggy conditions. Okay, Elim Kim over at the ninth as this one got away. Yeah, big mistake there, uh, watching that release off the back now, chipping from the rough. Handled that nicely, though. Yep, Walk away a, with a good par. Yeah, par save. This is going to be a bogey-free three under opening nine for Elim Kim to announce her presence two under, one back. Now, Amy Olson with a chance for two in a row. There is some break here. Despite how short it is, this is at least right edge. Got it. Read it perfectly. And that tough stretch has now been turned into two birdies in a row for Amy Olson. Puts a smile on her face and on a weekend when that has been tough to find. Again, her husband flying back home to North Dakota after he came out here in hopes of cheering on Amy to victory here in her first win. Of course, he had to turn right back around and go back to North Dakota. He's a linebacker coach at North Dakota State where he was a standout All-American linebacker for the Bisons. And Amy, of course, was an outstanding player for the same college. That's where they met. And now Moria for par to make it six in a row to start her final round. Just a little slider here. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Most stress she's had, but in the end, she kind of made it look easy. And she'll she'll have a couple birdie opportunities come up. We've, we've seen the eighth hole being able to take advantage of and head into the seventh tee now. To the eighth. Perhaps got a good look at birdie here. 24 players have come through this hole. We've seen eight birdies. A good chance for a two, and that was almost going to drop. Just died at the end. Now we'll go up one to nine. And as you look at A. Lim Kim, who has made a run here, I give you a little example of how she has fashioned out this opening nine. The first of two in a row, and the first of three. Paige came here at the fifth. <laughs> yeah, and it's not exactly the way you would typically draw it up with that whole location not difficult not easy to get close to so that got her back to even she started the day at plus one and then taking aim for two in a row at the six to get it into red numbers yeah and everything about the pace on that putt was perfect and then when she was out of position the putter saved her at the seventh walk it in that putter is red hot for her today kept her at one under and then her last birdie of this opening nine at the eighth with a perfect read. So Alim Kim 
One of those golfers that not a lot of people know about. There's been so many golfers from South Korea to come over here and make their mark. But A. Lim Kim, 25 years old, 21st on the Korean LPGA money list in 2020. Finished the season with four straight top tens, so her game had been trending coming in. But this is some spectacular stuff. Back to eight. And the player who has spent 84 weeks at the top of the Rolex rankings, 72 consecutive, is the world number one. Has this to get it under par and just dribbles it into the hole. So Jin Young Ko is very much in the mix and look how steady she has been in this final round of the US Women's Open. Two behind. Wrapped up warm. And the list of players under par grows to five with the addition of world number one. And now Amy Olsen coming off two in a row bones now going to show us this long fluid driver swing at the seventh. And what a thing of beauty it is. And again, with helping wind here and the dog leg right, she's in a position where if she can really catch one, get it up in the air, she can cut off a little bit of this dog leg and maybe leave herself another short iron. This is right up the center of the fairway. Another quality swing. She's got a little extra trajectory on the ball relative to some of the players that she's playing against and that does help especially when the the conditions are so soft for the closing par for a Lim Kim at the ninth beautiful up and down from the back side of this par five and so out in three under 33 tied for second right now with Olsen who's now made two in a row and the two others under par Ko and Jutanagar and Moria is getting ready over at the seventh Wind freshening in her back. Up the left side, but looking good. But quite a ways behind Olsen. Looks like it picked up a little mud on the ball there, as has been the case the last two days. And when Shibuna comes off a of green, she has somebody here in her entourage that hands her a jacket and some ski gloves just to warm her up on her way to the next tee. Nice thing to have. Really stands a ways away from the ball, kind of leans over and opens up that stance. Yeah, it's it's very Beauty. interesting address position. She does stretch quite a bit. You don't see that natural arm hang. A lot more tension in her arms you can see from both front on and down the line. But when she's swinging it well, she uh, you can see the confidence in her game come from placing that drive in the fairway. So Shibuno continues to lead, but it's a one-shot lead. And Jin Young Ko on the tee at the par five ninth. Seems to be swinging with some confidence. You can just tell. Yeah, it's a, a player that we've seen be so consistent for so long and gained a lot of confidence actually when she first won on the LPGA Tour. Girlsgolf.org today. Back at the ninth for Pap. Three back. And she likes that one. Gets it out there close to Jin Young Ko. And now Megan Kang, the last of this group to go. Been an adventure for her coming down the last few holes of this nine. Three bogeys and a birdie, but safely on the left side of this par five ninth fairway. Back to the seventh, we check in with Yalimi No again. Now a full six back. This her third. Just trying to get it back on track here, and that'll do it. Yeah, a lot of collection areas. The seventh, this particular collection area, the largest. You can see just how much elevation she had to come up. Earlier this summer, having a great week. All right, Kim Tu over at the seventh for birdie. Coming off double at the sixth. Okay, 
And a nice two putt there will remain at plus three. A miracle that she made it to the third and final rounds. With those three straight birdies to end her second round. To make the cut on the number. And designs of trying to pull off the biggest 36 hole comeback in U.S. Women's Open history. It's going to be a challenge after dropping a few. Megan Kang now getting ready over at the ninth with her second. She's gone bogey, birdie, bogey, bogey the last four holes. Well, an opportunity here in good position to try to get a birdie. <laughs> yes, a good layup is correct. Good angle at that back left hole location. Megan joined the LPGA Tour four years ago at the age of 18. After getting through all three stages of the LPGA Q School in 2015 as an amateur, did not attend college, obviously had numerous opportunities to do so, but this is the route she has chosen and still Looking for her first win. Now the amateur Pap with her second. Good job. Not only is she playing on the biggest stage in women's golf, but she's also playing with some of the best players. She had a very comfortable pairing in the third round, playing with Shibuno, who is kind, but she's got the number one player in the world and a Solheim Cupper in her group this, today. Here's Moria Jutanagarn over at the seventh. All pars today, six in a row. 181 yards to this green, something of a staircase green, so you want to get the ball on the proper level, if you will. When Moria won that breakthrough at Wilshire Country Club a couple of years ago, it was her sister, Aria, who was more happy for her than anybody in the entire gallery. An emotional win for Moria. Who has had who's watched her sister become a big time winner out here with 10 wins and Moria boy if she would be able to close the deal in this today be an emotional day for the sisters that's for sure she's just over the left side over there safely aboard and back over at the ninth Jin Young Ko's second at this par five. Again, just about positioning. Looking for a good angle to the back hole location. Mentioned that Moria was bogey free. Jin Young Ko working on a bogey free round thus far. And now here, Nako Shibuno over at the seventh. This flag tucked up against the right side of the green. So if you're going to be aggressive here, you're certainly taking on some risk in terms of the right green side bunker. This is up the right side. And a big miss. And that's going to be a really big challenge to be able to stop it anywhere close to that whole location. Going to have to navigate those sprinklers, too, that might come into play in her landing area. Olsen is next. Olsen now from 154. It's downwind and with the pin just over a ridge. Again, an opportunity here for Amy to generate some spin and maybe give herself yet another solid birdie opportunity. Just threw on the rain pants, which is an indication of the fact that it is not getting any warmer out here. Even girls from North Dakota <laughs> getting a little chilly. Boys have flush and good looking too. Wow, all over the stick, just a little bit too much as it drifts back. But another indication that Olsen is hitting the flush. And again, Bones mentioned it's downwind, and it did just land on that downslope a little bit that kind of propelled it forward instead of being able to kind of check up there. Yeah, you can see the change in color of the grain that indicates where the upslope and then the downslope would be. And Back over at the ninth, we've got some thirds upcoming here for this group. 
the amateur Pat to play first. Okay. Not bad. It's going to go back to the toward the end of the green, but a birdie look it'll be for Pap. Is it going to stay? Oh man, we've seen that more than a couple times. That's just going to stay up in the fringe there. Yeah, if there was a scouting report that uh, could be given to these players here at the ninth, it would be like, <laughs> watch out for the run out behind the flag at nine. We go to 15 for MB Park. This for par. And there is wow. that silky putting stroke, which enables MB to stay at plus two and gives her hopes of posting some kind of number that maybe would have a chance, but you get the feeling she'd have to pick up at least maybe a couple more birdies to be a factor. Over the ten, Aileen Kim, okay? Coming out of the right fairway bunker, launched that six iron really high. It was great contact. Yes, Beautiful shot. That was amazing to get that kind of stability with the lower body and launching it that high. And she's smiling behind that mask. Yeah, especially with the ball above her feet. You don't often see the ball come out that high, uh, but watch how stable the lower body is. No slipping. Back up to seven for Shibuno, Bones. And I would say if you have a very good short game, you would probably only get this ball up and down maybe 20, 30% of the time. She's got next to no green to work with, a fluffy lie, and it's downwind, downhill, down green where the ball lands. This is extremely difficult. If she blocks this just a little bit, there's also some sprinklers in play. Well, remember what she did back at the fifth. Unseemingly impossible up and down there. And there are those sprinklers, sprinkler heads just short of it. And it is another gem for Shibuno. Uh, That's nice. Her, her short game is world class, it appears. It certainly has been this week. Given her, given herself a nice look at this, and you can see just how clean she was going to have to c catch it. Mm. And there was not a better place to land it. Uh, anything further or over those sprinkler heads would have run away. Uh, it was a very small dime she had to land it on. Let's get back over to the par five ninth. This was just earlier, Jin Young Ko's third. Again, working on a two under bogey free front nine. She takes a little bit more of the conservative approach, doesn't want to mess with that hole location too much. And now Megan Kang, the last to play. Takes a big divot there, gets it to check up. It definitely came with a descending blow on mm -hmm. that. Megan Kang is uh, like the Christy Kerr of her own generation, <laughs> talking to herself the whole way. Amy Olson now over at the seventh, Bones. Yeah, you just have to call this a severe hole location. She actually took her stance there and stepped on a sprinkler head, so she may be looking for a little relief, but very unlucky to have a putt of this length considering how good her second shot was. Let's bring in Catherine Belanger, our rules expert for the USGA, and this is a gimme for you, Catherine, we know. <laughs> well, we see that Amy's stance there is on the sprinkler head, which is an immovable obstruction, so she is entitled to take this free relief. We see she's found her nearest point of complete relief, and she's going to go ahead and drop within one club length from there. Okay, thank you, Catherine. There we go, get down there a little bit lower. <laughs> The new drop rules, which went into effect a while back, below the knee, you can drop from. That uh, below the knee drop actually was good there for you. That ball, you know, in back in the day, uh, knee high would have, uh, yeah, knee high drop. She, uh, that thing could have picked up a little momentum and run down into the rough. So now 40 feet back up the hill. Great speed there for Amy. And that is her only par since the first hole. She went three bogeys in a row, the two birdies in a row, rooting that one on, and that's going to be safely in to stay at two under over at the ninth. Fourth coming back to the stick here for Pap. 
This is makeable, though. Clean contact should be straightforward. Especially with her short game, right? Yeah, we've already seen a couple <laughs> yep. that she's been able to dunk this week. So Pap is safely in for par at the ninth. And so for the amateur from Texas, it's going to be an even par opening nine to stay right there within three. Trying to make history of her own. Elam Kim is over at the 10th K for birdie. Good news is she had a great shot. She's on the green, reasonable distance from the hole. Bad news is this this has a fair amount of right to left break in it. So I think it's going to be a low percentage putt that she could make. Really has to time that break and speed just perfectly. And that one will drift away like we've seen so many today. Back over to seven. And this is Moria coming up for birdie. Tough read. Yeah, it is difficult. You could tell where she was standing, the ball below her feet, but the end of the putt moving the opposite direction. Back over to the ninth, Jin Young Ko for birdie. This would be her third of this opening nine. At a par for her. Two under, out 34. Just one bogey so far for Shibuno came at the second. And she picks up another one at the seventh. So unable to take advantage of that beautiful short game. And Elin Kim up top there, also with a bogey at the tenth. So Kim drops down to one under. Shibuno drops down to two under. And all of a sudden, things have tightened up considerably just in a matter of seconds there. Amy Olson is now at two under and tied with Shibuno atop the board. Even despite three bogeys in a row in the early going, the American from North Dakota tied for the lead. Jin Young Ko a stroke back. Morio Jatanagarn has been cranking out pars. And a little left at seven to stay at one under. And A. Lim Kim with that first mishap, and there is Olsen. Um, an incredibly difficult weekend, persevering through this U.S. Women's Open as her husband flew back home to North Dakota to be with the family after the loss of his father. So Amy Olsen tied for the lead in the biggest and most prestigious event they play. Tied with Shibuna. We'll keep it right here for Morio Jatanagarn, who's trying to stay at one under bones. And if you were going to leave yourself a putt of this length, she left it on the absolute perfect side of the hole to have a putt she can be aggressive with, take a little break out of it. Wind picking up, and it is getting that much colder at the moment. Yeah, it does not seem like it's gotten one degree warmer today, maybe even a little chiller. That was pulled all the way. Yeah. She is known for her solid and consistent putting, but that you could tell right off the bat was not a strong stroke. That was uh, quick in the transition and left off the face. Yeah, she's had some nice saves today to, to keep a par streak going, but ends up a three putt bogey here for Moria Jutanagar to fall out of the group at under par. And we have said it on more than one occasion today. Some of the women here recording their first three putts of the week, and that is the same for Maury Jatanagarn right there at the seventh. Have to believe it has a lot to do with these temperatures, just trying to get your feel around the club, whether it's a putter or a driver or whatever you're swinging out there. This was a moment ago over at the par five ninth. Megan King for birdie. Trying to get a little closer. And with a lead back and up. Megan Kang has designs of breaking through for the first time at the U.S. Women's Open. Moves within three with her second birdie to close out her opening nine. So she's out in plus 137. After the 74 in the third round, Megan Kang right there, just outside the evens of Jatanagarn, who falls into that position with the amateur Pap. Olsen and Shibuno, your co leaders in the 75th U.S. Women's Open. 
as we go back out to the little par three eighth. Yeah, a little today because the tee has been moved up and the flag put on that front right portion of the green. So it's a very small target, but they've only got a wedge in hand. Well, you said it, Tom, 104 yards, but interesting in terms of strategy today, if you play about 30 feet left of the flag, you can take the back bunker out of play. But certainly if you want to play aggressive from just 104 yards, and the ball flights down into this strong north wind that is in their face, you can very easily hit this over the green into the sand. So a hole you can make a two on, but certainly a hole you can make a four on also. We've seen a lot of players going right at it today. Let's see if uh, Amy plays safe, as you say, Bones, or is more aggressive. Going at it, this is slightly left of the flag. And it's fine right there. And you pitch it on the front of the green with a bit of spin. There is a chance that it could come back into the penalty area, but no problem with that length. You see, Molson is a cool customer. Have to be on a day like today. Solid today, certainly coming off the short miss, but I can't help when I look at it to think that she's the one of the three ladies in this last group that is most affected by the cold weather. She's been jumping up and down a lot, just trying to generate a little blood flow. And you gotta wonder here now, coming off that bogey on the previous hole, if she's gonna be that 